So recently I went to uh, my local theme park, Six Flags New England. Great theme park. I love the theme park. How about this new hat? Let's let's try it on, on camera. I think that's gonna be pretty cool. Let's, let's... No, stop! Who are you? I'm the bird from another universe. Okay, and uh You cannot wear the hat! Why? I wanna it looks good. Look at that. I want to wear it. I think it, it's pretty sunny outside. I want to wear it. It will have detrimental effects to the entire universe. Detrimental effects to the universe. Uh -huh. You cannot wear the hat. Got it? Sure. Okay. And <coughs> so you're telling me I shouldn't really wear this hat. <coughs> what about if I... Okay. Got it. <coughs> Got it. Just, I won't touch it, okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See? Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Nothing. Welcome to Boo Plays. I'm Davood, and this is my Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse spoiler review. Uh, wow. This, well, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, this is a quite uh, uh, just a film for is a spectacular film that I I cannot wow I I cannot believe films could be this good. Uh, hope you enjoy the little intro. I don't know. I spent some time on it. Um, I think I think they get better each time. Is that that or the movies just get better because this yeah, movie is fine. Just all right, whatever. Unbelievably wow. amazing. It might whatever? be one of my favorite. So are you like a cow yeah, or a Dalmatian? I am. I've seen a wide range of movies this year. It's been from <laughs> it's horror, not funny. comedy to animation. Hello. Uh, but um, wow. This is quite the spectacular film. Like I can I cannot even describe. It. There's so much to talk about this film. Let me get. Let, let's get straight to the point. Make sure you grab the like button. I can never pronounce it. Anyways, this uh, this film. Um, uh, after reuniting with uh, Gwen Stacy, Brooklyn's full-time friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, which is Miles Morales, is uh, uh, catapulted across the multiverse when he encounters a team of Spider People, the Spider Society, better yet told, and uh, is charged uh, with protecting its very existence. However, when the heroes clash on how to handle a new threat. Miles finds himself pitted against other spiders. Yeah, that's not that's not good. Uh, uh, Miles finds uh, how to redefine what it means to be a hero so he can save people he loves most. And wow, that that really helps me um, talk about the lesson of this film. And there there is a lot to talk about this film. And I will say right off the bat, you might be wondering if this is better than No Way Home. This is better than No Way Home. No, but not unden undeniable. This is the best Spider-Man film. That's also undeniable. Uh, with that said, <laughs> I feel like we should start talking about this film because I'm 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 gonna start spoiling a lot of stuff in like two milliseconds. So there again, spoiler alert. Uh, make sure to grab the like button. I think I said that kind of right. Let's dive into this wicked film that's just amazing. I, 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 let's just let's just talk. Let's just talk about it. I will ahead of time. I apologize if I ramble too much because this video might be very long because I rambled too much about how amazing this film is. You should just go see it and then you just you'll you'll just know you'll just know. But I'm just summing up for people in general. Let Let's talk about uh, something that I wanted to talk about right off the get go because it was mentioned in the little summary, and that is uh, lessons. And this film usually I talk about plot first, but this film has a lot of lessons. Um. I will admit, unlike some films like uh, like Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three was more emotional, more in depth, and this is a little bit more kids' film, and it had less subject matter. It didn't have a lot of very heavy because I mean, animal cruelty to finding yourself as a superhero, two two different two different categories, two different categories. Uh, but they found some way in a PG rated film to captivate this very strong lesson of what it means to be a hero so that you can save everyone you love and like how you balance it how you find yourself how you save people you love how you how you live through in the universe and there's just so much to decipher even it might be just little little things little, little lessons that kids don't really, like uh, families really don't matter but 
this is this this see my pronounce i can't even talk i have so much to say lessons in the sun i always, I always say this just see the movie for yourself you'll know what the lessons are you you see the fa balancing family being a superhero but at the same time same people you love while the same like there's a lot of things stuff to think about would you save one person or would you save an entire planet and that is something you should really think about <laughs> uh but what about if this person's really special to you and but how do you deal with that there's just so much to think about this film and i really love the lessons in this film and i love how bold they are for a very uh, pg rated film intended for a much younger audience well uh and um they really did something special with the lessons i, I know it if if it was like rated pg-13 it could have had a more in-depth lesson but the stuff they do with the PG film, wow, they they are really, really pushing the capabilities of what could be a rating. And, um, man, oh, wow. And the lessons they just put in here are, are actually a lot for kids. And I, I will draw the comparison with Puss in Boots' Last Wish. Uh, like about death and anxiety and, the, this, and that one. I think this one also kind of deals with death and, uh, like, how do you balance life how do you how do you really how do you go on and how do you how do you save people how do you love family while at the same time saving people and what what is more important and how do you balance that and how there's just so many questions and so many lessons that are put into this film that are really emotional and really in depth uh I think that's a really unique thing that they did. And, and they didn't just make it like, they live happily ever after. No. And I love how they didn't do that. And they made some more suspense in the film. And that brings me to suspense. I, I can't, I, I'm still thinking about lessons. This film, lessons has lessons that I, I don't, I, I never thought would be in a, a children's film. I think I got my point across. Now let's get to suspense. Uh, suspense in this film. Wow. Uh, at because I knew this was a two-parter, people was like, what? There's a two, what? what? There's a two-parter. You're, hold up, hold up. I, I, I saw some of those faces and I saw gasps. Always hear, this is, this crowd, this, personally, this was the largest movie theater. I, not, not the largest. This was actually quite a small uh, uh, room, movie th theater, but it was packed to the brim. Handicapped sp spaces were filled, I think. There's like not even the front front row. That's the next zone. That's where you. That's where you're looking up all like this the whole time. I feel bad for those people. Uh, but those pe those people back to the brim. Like even at the, in the corner of the room, they were like st st There's the there's a lot of people watching this film, and they always have the same reaction. Like what? Wow. <gasps> what? And usually I like to clap at the end of films, and then my friends are like, don't don't do it. But this film, everybody started clapping, and I was like, oh, yeah, I finally get to clap. And I never heard clapping in a movie theater before, except for me, of course. Uh, but this is the first time I saw other people clapping, and my friends were like, stop, don't, don't be part of it. Don't be part of it. But they turned out to clap as well, kind of, because this was an amazing film. And the suspense of this film, well, at, at one hand, I was wondering, what is going to happen with Miles? What is going to happen with Gwen? By the other hand, by the other hand, I was wondering, like, please don't end. Please, please, please don't let this movie end. Please just don't let this movie end. And I was like, wait, 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 wait. We can, we can talk. We don't have to end this really quickly. We have, we can keep going. But it ended. I'm like, no, 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 no. And I was like, it's fine. We have another movie next year, uh, coming out on March 29th. Hopefully, think I next of next year. I'm fine with that, if, unless they don't delay until 2025. If they delay it, then there's going to be problems. There's going to be so much worry. I'm going to be so worried. That I'm beyond the roof excited. Uh, beyond uh, uh, excited for the next film. So you have this, you have Miles going to the Spider Society. And man, he, he really, uh, really, uh, Spider in 2099, he really, I'll talk about the characters in a moment and how they develop them. Uh, but uh, he really uh, irritates him, and uh, about like how we can save people. But that is how. Well, on one hand, when we can save people, that will destroy everything else, and there will be consequences far greater than you could have imagined, and there'll be losses far greater than you could have imagined. 
because you just saved one person and you messed with somebody's timeline. And um and uh just seeing 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 that final battle like the suspense like is Miles going to really get away? Is he is he going to get is he going to get by the spider society which whoa 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 that that would have been actually pretty cool. Uh but um and then at the end when we had the twist of he was not in his universe. He didn't go back to his universe. He went to a different universe. I was like, whoa, 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 hold up, whoa. And again, this was beyond just like, I, I could not imagine this. Like, it was it was quite a su- surprise. And I'm like, wait, is, is he going to get out? And uh, at the same time, Gwen, I was like worried, like, about how how she revealed her identity at the beginning of the film um and how is she really going to deal with that and uh there's just so many questions and so many stuff i had to i was the focusing on and i i could just not stop thinking about this film and um what else about suspense i also have to say suspense is anyone going to perish is anyone going to die are they going to make any sacrifices i'm like no please don't make sacrifices that is the last thing i want sacrifices uh, we've gotten enough of them in Fast X. Sure, sacrifices in Fast X. Uh, but, uh, sorry, uh, I need to pick something up. Um, stepped out of frame for a moment. Uh, and, uh, well, this suspense, I, I think it is the best suspense I think I've uh, experienced. A little bit better than Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, that's what I can say for sure. And I'm really talking about a lot about characters in, when I'm talking about suspense. And, you know, let's talk about the characters in this film because these characters are just amazing. They, they, there's so much about these characters that I love and I love how they develop them even more. I will say the only thing that Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 did better, they were, they were more relatable characters. But on one hand, this was a more personal story, I feel like. And um, yeah, let's first talk about my, let's first talk about the characters, um, uh, like Miles and Gwen. They really developed a lot in this film, and uh, I think that was a good benefit of them. Their performances are beyond the roof. You can see like those. This was a star-studded cast: uh, Jason Schwartzman, uh, uh, Ryan Tyree uh, Henry. Uh, uh, D- Daniel Kaluuya. There's, there's so many, so many people. Oscar Isaac as from Spider-Man 2099, and you feel their performances. They are not voice acting performances. Usually in films, you have a voice acting performance, but this film felt like it was an actual performance. They put their all into this performance, and that usually doesn't happen. There's the really like, like, like uh, people underestimate voice actors sometimes. Like they're, they're just standing in the booth and just yelling at a microphone for a couple of hours. But these, but this. Really, they, these uh, performances really shined, and they really act. You could feel their passion towards the project, even if they didn't get enough screen time, like Scarlet Spider. I think Scarlet Spider, yeah, and uh, um, kind of Peter Peter B. Sparker, uh, uh, Sparker Parker. Um, uh, he got enough. I feel like enough screen time, but it could have just could have been more. Uh, um, and uh, I feel like they really balanced uh, the, the characters in this film, and they let the exact number of uh, characters grow. And the introduction of these new different characters, new Spider-Man characters, I think really elevated uh, a story with uh, Spider-Woman. Uh, that was, I think that was a good addition. Uh, so 2099 Spider-Man, I mean, I think he need, we need more of him. We need more of him. Scarlet Spider, which is, his journey has barely begun. Um, but uh, they really advanced, and I think that was the best part of the plot. And they really let... Even though the first half of the film was a lot of talking and talking and talking, I was invested the whole time. And plus, they made the animation look amazing, which we have to get to in a moment. Which I I cannot stop. I cannot stop. Um, I cannot stop talking about other th- stuff in the film. Um, the plot. So, uh, very 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 simple kind of plot. Uh, you have somebody from the past. You meet him again. And uh, I'll say Jason Jason Schwartz's performance. Wow wow. I, I, I didn't know he was in this film, and I was like, whoa, that was, that was a good performance. It was a very, very clever performance, I think. And he, I am really terrified of a spot now in this universe. 
and like what is he going to do what um so uh the plot that uh, him just ca conquering multiversal universes and miles trying to s save somebody he loves and uh he, him trying to there's even though i, I love that this is two part it lets it lets us grow and uh focus on other aspects of the story that in a, in the in the two if it was the same amount two hours and 16 minutes and they had to fit in both films man this film would be like like that each scene but i love how they did it two parts so they can expand on each story they can expand on family and then now that we know that now that they even set up this uh, kind of family aspect that like we they might we might see characters die in the next film that really raised the stakes for the end of the end of this film and for the next film and uh talking going back to suspense like i did not know how they're going to end like the prowler in planet uh, on uh, universe planet 42 was miles morales and how could he he like usually i i think somebody would be like like pat like kind of sympathetic to uh somebody of another universe that is exactly the same that might be terrified if you, if you saw a clone of yourself but this person was ruthless just ruthless and this is spent uh, like at, at the end i was like it was a perfect cliffhanger it didn't really leave us with like no no but it but there was a kind of factor of the cliffhanger but it ended up things that we can have hope there's light at the end of the tunnel there's light at the end of the tunnel instead of uh just a very very very, very like a lot of hypotheticals that's what that's the word um but i love how they intro on the suspense and the plot and um i did not really want this movie to end i was like no don't end don't end here don't end here don't end here and then it ended i'm like no uh, but plot, there's a lot about this plot, and I feel like you just see the motion. I will say, uh, could have used a little bit more emotion. That is what, a, that is the, I think that's what Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 did best. Uh, it could have used a little bit more of that, but I'm fine with that. Like, or like, I think a loss in this film would have elevated it more. But at, but at the, but uh, they, they, instead of having someone die and then having to overcome it, they really set up the stakes in this film. And I think that was the best part. Action this film, wow, stunning, stunning. The opening sequence, just the, just the drumming, drumming out your, your pain. I think that was a very, a very powerful scene, like how to overcome trauma. And uh, it really recapped the events of last film, very good. Um, so, uh, wow, a action was just, uh, uh, I think it was amazing in this film. Oh my God, I'm already talking for 14 minutes. Um, action is just, even though the first half of the film, I'm, I already told you, very, very slow, a lot of talking. It, it earns that up with the end of the film and it's uh, spectacular action sequences on different universes and different planets and just like wow and even so with the spider society i understand why this movie took a couple of years to now a couple of years to make and just it was amazing and i love how they utilized a lot of stuff with the spot uh, that is very creative stuff like i wow just give him the just give him the Oscar for best animated picture now. Number one, good story. Number two, good animation. All it needs, all it really needs. Good act, four voice actor performances. Number three, um, but they really util they were really creative with it, and uh, they utilized a lot of stuff from the comics as well. And um, they they were very they they were true. Uh, you could tell that the animators were true fans because they integrated something from every single story, and they really put something into. Uh, the film that made it more special, like having more Spider-Man and pitting Spider-Mans against each other. I think that was a very powerful lesson. Like, wow, like, like, even though we're all the same, we could pit against each other. And that's something that, that we do in the, in the our world every single day. Which is sad. Uh, the comedy of this film. The last film was quite funny. I also thought this little film was a little bit less funny, but it still had humor laugh out loud. Like, in the, again, the first half, more humor. The second half, not a, lot, not a lot of humor, a lot of more emotion still pretty good uh horror in this film i will tell you I, I, i'm going i just going down my list Horror in this film i will tell you some of the imagery uh sometimes shocking for little families um but i will say i saw people of all age in this theater couples a little bit elderly people and uh some more kids me <laughs> um there's a lot of people in this film and uh some younger audiences might 
be stunned by some of this imagery and just like shocked. Uh, but I think it, it, the, the horror also balances out with the comedy of it. But towards the end, I was like a prowler. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. It was, and it started to become a little bit more dark. And uh, I could use a little bit of a dark animated Spider-Man, but I feel like the tone they have here is perfect. And this story is just so emotional at the same time, comedic at the same time, relatable and at the same it has this story is just i cannot wait for the next film there's a lot to expect from the next film and i mean who knows who knows what is going to happen to these characters i will say the cameos in this film i have to address it donald glover as the mcu's prowler i i, I was freaking out in my seat i was like what i was like what and he had and, and uh, the, my favorite part he actually had an outfit he he wasn't just in his normal clothes with his like weapon uh, he was actually in, in uh, a costume. I was like, wow, wow, what, 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 what? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And then we got the little glimpse of Tobey Maguire. People didn't see him, but I was like, I, I see you, I see you. And then and then there was Andrew Garfield, which is obvious. So I heard some, oh. personally, that was the biggest cameo. Ooh, cameo, cameo, <laughs> cameo. I was like, eh. uh, it could have been better. Now all we have is Tom Holland left. That's all we need. Uh, there was a lot of other Spider-Man that I missed, Spectacular Spider-Man. Uh, the, 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 the little different Spider-Man, a classic Spider-Man, um, Spider-Ham, Spider-Noir. Uh, I love how they assembled the team at the end. The team at the end would be could be very powerful, and I, and I can't wait to see that in the next film, especially with Gwen leading it. Now, they're a young Spider-Man, but with this drive that is a drive of a leader. And um, I'm already talking for 20 minutes, so just let's let, wrap things up. And the stakes for the next film are higher than ever, and the spot I am there's a lot to talk about the spot the spot is quite the villain and um there's just so much about this film I need to stop talking let's go to my ranking uh <laughs> really I need to stop talking action I get four and a half plot I get four and a half uh comedy I give three lessons I give four suspense I get five and horror I give 0 0.5 overall five five not debatable not debatable um uh, this is a must see film Literally, it is a must-see film uh, because of like the ratings that it's gotten from other critics. This film not only captures a unique animation style with like 3D animation and then painting it with 2D, but it also captures a very uh, relatable, heartfelt story and mixes that, integrates that into an amazing Spider-Man story and a story on how to be hero which we don't get a while. We usually get sequels on how, like, to train as a hero. I think that was, like, the last one. But, like, how do you balance being a hero and a family? Like, I mean, Dom Toretto would know how to handle that. But <laughs> but personally, like, like I, I, there's a lot of questions to say, like, how do you, how, how, how do you interact with a family when they, like, how do you lie to them, kind of? Like, how do you express what you want to say? It's hard to say that, and it's it's truly hard. And uh, there's just a lot of lessons. Just got to go see the film. I need to stop talking. Anyways, this was my Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse spoiler review. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to like button. And this was the boot place.